Why, hi there, I'm Ron Chuckin, and you are about to see in real time uh, what happened with the 1986 Pro Football Replay. Uh, I've actually exported the games already. I'll show you how I did that, but I have yet to install the new patches and figure out what's going on. If you were not with us Monday night, we were about to play Dallas and the Giants live before the Monday night football game between the Dallas Cowboys and New York Giants. Not the course 1986 version, but the 2019 version. And when I went to open up the game and had both teams ready, I realized that Dallas had flipped to a very beat up and injured Atlanta Falcon team. Back through box scores, I realized that Atlanta had pulled an invasion of the body snatchers over Dallas starting after week six. So week seven and week eight are also lost for Dallas. Also, uh, Dallas played Philadelphia in week seven. So week Philly's games in week, in week nine don't count. St. Louis was Dallas's opponent. Uh, opponent in week 8 and their week 8 and week 9 game against Philadelphia have been yanked the schedule they're just they're no longer going to exist so in a moment I'll show you what this looks like I'll show you how to export games and then I'm going to patch the game and then run through the things that we need to do okay so you can just see this looks like a regular Intro screen to a football game. When I don't have a game up, you can see the unplayed Cowboy Giant game. And if you take a look carefully where it says sacks, you can see Gann is listed twice, both with Atlanta. Now, Gann obviously doesn't have 12 sacks and 10 sacks with Atlanta. They're not one of the same person. Um, anything else that looks pretty out of place? There's no Dallas players among the leaders. They're technically 4-4. Four four. So that was my first indication. And so when I open, let's take a look at Dallas's roster, shall we? And as you can see, that's not the Dallas Cowboys. Not at all. Gerald Riggs did not play for, da for Dallas in 1986. David Archer may be injured for Atlanta, but he's not injured for Dallas. Turk Schoenert shouldn't be quarterbacking anywhere in 1986. And Scott Campbell isn't ready yet. So that is, so that's the problem that I found. Okay, you can kind of see where I am. I don't have the mouse pointer on. I'm on the export tab. You can see where it says games, coaches, and league database. And so I point to games. And it gives you the option of what games to export. Now I've already... exported these games but I'll just show you how easy it is first if you know where your error is you hit export all and then you start clicking off the games you don't want to export in this case the Dallas Philadelphia game in week 7 the I'm trying to find it San Diego Philadelphia game in week 8 the uh, St. Louis-Dallas game in Week 8. And, of course, the Philadelphia-St. Louis game in Week 9. Because it, injuries may or may not be the case. I don't want to have to reset everybody. So we'll just take those games off the board. Then you would click Begin Export. You can't see the mouse, but that's what you would begin to click. And voila, it puts them into your season folder so you can import them whenever you're ready. Now I'm going to go install the patch, reinstall the season. Well, I'm going to install the patch, and we'll be back. Okay, so you see where... It looks the same. I've installed the patch. There's another video on the channel from previous that shows how to install the patches. If you really got a question about that, I will try to respond and do one of those. But for now, this is the new version. The date is 10-18-2019. So that's the most recent version of the game. Now, I'm going to... 
install a new season. And that's pretty much what it is, FB1986 zip. You click begin installation, overwrite existing league and stats. Yes, I do. Installation complete. We go back to week one. There's not a logo. There's not a picture. Let's import. Select all games. Begin import. Ba -bum -ba -bum 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 -bum. Oh, poop. This could be fun. That's the one that I had to change because I thought it was in the wrong spot. That's what you get for trusting your memory at 14 years old. So we'll see how many games everyone's played. It's a pretty painless process, and I eliminated, as I said, the few games that didn't match. So Philadelphia's got three to play, St. Louis has two, and San Diego has a missing game as well. I did re-import San Diego's Week 9 game. Probably should have yanked that. Import complete. Now, is Dallas going to show up? Okay. So, there are a bunch of games that need to be replayed. San Francisco, Los Angeles, which is a game that I actually played on the channel. Denver, Pittsburgh. I'm not quite sure why that got moved around. So everything re-imported. I haven't done any logos. I haven't done any pictures. And you can see Gann and Sachs only has 10 for Atlanta. So let's quickly replay the games that did not get played. Oh, this is going to screw things up. San Francisco won that one. Denver, Pittsburgh. All right. Week three, everything's in. Week four, everything's in. Week five, everything's in. Week six, everything is in. Well, let me, before we do that, make sure Dallas is Dallas. Hey, how about that? Dallas is Dallas. Yay! Week 7. Where the hell is it? Auto play. Dallas beat Philadelphia. How about that? 22 to 15. Week 8. We got to play... San Diego and Philly. San Diego beats Philly. St. Louis upsets Dallas 27 to 14. And then the week nine game, we have two to play. Philadelphia and St. Louis is won by Philadelphia. And the Dallas Giant game, which I was going to show on Monday night is won by the Giants, 27 to 10. Well, if I had been allowed to show you that game, you would have seen Dallas jump out to a 10-6 halftime lead, Allegra from 44 in the first quarter. You see no logos here. Just re That's what you got to do when you reinstall the season. So Septien with a 47-yard field goal, then Pelora hit Sherrard, to make it 10 to 3, then the Giants chip back at the end of the first half. Roll a leg rate from 22 yards to make it 10 6. Then Sims went to work. 53 yard pass to Robinson, and then a 13 yard pass to Tony Galbraith in the fourth quarter. And Mo Carthon finished off the scoring to make it 27 to 10. See? Wasn't that easy?
And so now everybody should be caught up through week nine. And the revised standings had the Giants in first place in the NFC East over and Dallas sitting pretty for a wild card spot. Everything else should be fine. And McNamee Smith, just trying to make sure that there's no doubles for anybody. I don't need to go through this again. Nope. Sorry, Chicago didn't help you. And the NFC Central, Minnesota still leads Chicago by a game. And the West St. Louis now, or San Francisco leads Atlanta by two. God knows what their quarterback is. Miami, New York, and New England in the AFC East. Cleveland by two games over Houston. Uh, you're going to see Cleveland and Miami at noon in Kansas City. Wow, Denver got screwed. Denver got screwed. And they are 3-6. and six. Now let's see if... Doesn't look like they doubled up anything. Did they play Pittsburgh? Oh, yeah, it kind of did. Because you can see it goes from 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9, and then 2. So what do we have for injuries? None. Carter for two weeks. Okay. Okay. So that is that for that. So tomorrow I will start to put in logos and do everything for that. But it was really easy to to export. You just take out the games you don't want to have exported. Export all. Reinstall the season. Re or put in the patches. Reinstall the season. And then um, put the games back in. And everything should be okay. All right, let's take one second. So in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't too bad. But but I'm not a happy camper at this point. Apparently, I last patched the football game in mid-June. And when I did the video, I was immediately contacted by Al Red Sox fan who said, oh, yeah, this is a problem that they have. There are certain seasons where Dallas turns into Atlanta at a certain point in the season. Let me dig them up, and it'll show you how to, to manually import it, which is what I just did and, and just showed you how to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. But there was a specific patch made to rectify that problem after several people said uh, Dallas has turned into Atlanta. And it wasn't just for this particular season. I think in Al's case, it was 1970. So this was a multi-season problem where teams would turn from one city and group of players into another. And I would never have noticed it. It would have been worse if I wasn't going to do the Dallas-New York Monday Night Football game. Okay, that's fine. Mistakes happen. I'm not upset about that. What I am upset about is that multiple patches for games get released and we never hear about them. Okay? You can go to the boards... Tap and Talk Forms is the official host for Action PC Football. And I had to respond to a text. Uh, I have no problem putting in patches. Oh, Tap and Talk Form. But you got to go to the form to find out when the most recent patch was. I mean, this was, in my view, a critical error. If I had was doing this replay for just my own stuff and had it happen... I probably wouldn't have noticed unless I was doing a straight giant replay, and then I would have been really upset. What's going on? Sending stuff to the company. Uh, Action PC Sports sends out weekly sales emails. There's always something on sale. The golf game is on sale all the time. Okay? Now, I have no problem getting... Uh, sales emails. I've signed up for them. I want to know what they got going on. If there's something that I want to buy, that's great. You know, I do like the Action PC products, but someplace in the endless sale pitches for a golf game that's mediocre at best, there should be, oh, by the way, we've released a critical update to game A. Please go and download it from our service update page. 
and to thank you for that, maybe something is on sale. You don't necessarily have to do that. That's fine. But something in that weekly communication that you send to our emails to say, look, you might want to grab this. It's important. And it's a free update for all owners of the game. I've missed four, three or four football patches, at least two baseball patches. I wonder why Washington wasn't showing up. Uh, when I did the World Series pre-play in the stats, and we won't even get into the issues with playoff holders for baseball. And the basketball update showed as a virus, and Windows won't open it. So I have no idea what's going on with that. Come on. You guys know better. You guys are good at customer service. It's one of the things that you do very well. You never have to buy the same thing twice. If you realized, oh, poop, I bought it, uh, what can I do? Uh, money back. Can I get a free season? Can I get something else? Yes, absolutely. You know, whatever we can to make you happy. This is customer service 101. If you release an update that's going to fundamentally change or fix a fatal flaw, and let's be honest, you're doing a sports replay. If teams are changing in the middle of the replay, that's a fundamental fatal flaw. No questions asked. That's a fatal flaw. Uh, it, I should not have to chase down. I must patch my game in order to get that right. That is on you, the game manufacturer, to say, look, this is an error. We, we boo-booed. And maybe not obviously send because you don't know who owns what game, but if you own the this version of that game, please go to our service update page and immediately download this link or download this file. And it will patch the error that our users have found. That's very simple. So yes, although this replay will restart in week 10 with, uh, who am I playing? Um, any, I think it's Miami Cleveland. Uh, as it, as it were, and boy, that boy, oh boy, that reset really hurt Denver. Um, I shouldn't have to be chasing after things. Your users don't make your users think. Tell them. Going, we screwed up, guys. Here's where the new file is. Please grab it. Uh, we'll update seasons. Let us know if it happens again. It happens. I mean, the game sometimes versions of the games have runtime errors. It happens. Not every Windows machine runs the same. But this one, as far as I'm concerned, considering that several people complained about it, something was done, but nothing was said. Oh, by the way, it was nice of you guys to let us know that the 84-85 hockey season that we all prepaid for is out as well. Uh, you got to tell us. We can't guess. We're not mind readers. We want to work with you. We want to be your customers. But this one, this one kind of stings a bit. All right. Okay, so that's all I have to say about that. The 86 football replay resumes on Thursday morning. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ron Chuckett. We will talk to you the next time.